Hey you guys, good morning, happy Thursday. Today is March 21st of 2024 and I'm here to bring you my second CVS haul or other people call it a midway haul. Okay, um, I just did small transactions. So this is one transaction, second transaction, and then third transaction here. So the degree are two different cards. All right, so let me go ahead and share this small haul with you. Hopefully this is a quick video. <laughs> All right, first thing, you wanna grab an Uber gift card. Um, someone reached out to me that other Uber gift cards are not tracking or not producing their $15 extra bucks when you spend $50. For me, this one with just the basic white collar and it says Uber on it, um, it gave me the $15 extra bucks. I do use this one for a meal. I don't use the Uber ride because I have my own car. Or if anything I need to write, I just call a friend. But anyway, you can also use this to order your meal. I usually order lunch at work with Uber gift card. Anyway, when you spend 50 this week at CVS, you will get $15 extra bucks back. I just consider that $15 extra bucks free because basically I'm still getting how much I paid for, which is $50. So that's a heads up there. Make sure you grab this specific gift card. I already redeem the <laughs> money inside this Uber gift card and use for my lunch the other day okay um the other thing i throw in in this transaction is this small eucerin hand cream they are on promotion for buy two get a ten dollar extra bucks this week i believe any eucerin product and i'm not sure if aquaphor is included but this is the cheapest one in my store for six dollars and 59 cents piece for both of them, my total came out to $13.18. I have a $2 CRT for any hand and body lotion that came from my email. I paid $11.18 out of pocket. I did receive a $10 extra bucks back for buying two of those, making my final cost for both of them only $1.18 or $0.59 a cents a piece. I think this is such a great deal. Especially if you have a percent coupon, you can stack your percent coupon. I do have a 10% here that just saved me 12 cents because I did roll the $10 extra box in this transaction. All right, so that's all for this receipt, just these three items. And here is the close up of my receipt Userin, Userin, and then the Uber gift card for $50. Um, here is the $2 CRT for the Userin hand cream. And then I did roll the $10 extra box. And then I have there my 2% and the 10% on your purchase. My subtotal was $51.02. And then I did receive a $15 in extra box for the Uber gift card. And then $10 for the Usurin. So I got back $25 in extra box. And I got here my 20% off for your next purchase. So if I give you the final math of everything, um, I paid basically 10 extra bucks and 5102 out of pocket. So that's 6102. I did receive $25 in extra bucks back. So making my final cost for everything only 3602 if I count the extra bucks with the Uber gift card, which I think that is such a great deal. All right, let me move on to the degree. I did a degree just by itself. I believe I did this one, the black one. So they are by, by two, you get $4 in extra bucks and they are full price. They are priced for $7.79 in my store. For both of them, my total is fifteen fifty-eight. This card received a three dollar or fifteen CRT on any deodorant, so that came off. My card also have a four dollar off two digital coupon, and then in store there is a two dollar hang tag or peely off one item. So I did just grab or use one of those, so then I can get a four dollar double dip digital coupon so i paid 6.58 for both of them receive a four dollar extra box 
And then on Fetch Reward, I did receive a dollar fifty for buying two right here. So making my final cost for both of those only a dollar and eight cents or about fifty four cents a piece. And here is the receipt. All right. And then I did use a gift card with this one. I cashed out and I bought a gift card in one of my accounts. So I have no auto pocket with this one. All right, so that's 54 cents a piece. I think that's such a great deal. And then the last transaction I did, this is a different card. So these four items together, I love this Joa Lip Renewal Mask. I already mentioned this in previous video that I do use this lip renewal mask on a regular basis every night. And then I grab these lip scrub. I am about to try this one. So these guys are on promotion for spend 15, get $10 extra bucks. And they are regular price for $7.99. Okay, so for both of that, my total is $15.98. So that's enough for me to read to get a $10 extra bucks back. I paid $15.98 get back $10 extra bucks, making my cost for both of them $2.99. And I think that's such a great price to try a new product. And I love this one. So I'm okay to pay $3 for each of these. All right, and then I throw in this degree again. I pick up another set. It's basically the same math with that one. Um, Yeah, so what I did is I did use the extra buck that I got from the Uber 15 and a $10 from the user in on this card. And then I did also use a $2 Peely for the degree and a $4 off to a digital coupon also came off. So here is the receipt and I do have the 20% off. I did use it right here that took off four cents, which came from this receipt earlier. All right, so here is the close-up of the receipt. So we got two degree, and then two Joa, and then I have a $2 tear pad for the degree, $4 off two digital coupon for the degree, and then I did roll the $25 extra bucks that I got from the previous transaction. I have a 2% there and a 20% off one full price item. Okay, so my subtotal was only 50 cents, but with tax, it came up to 373 I did paid with gift card and then I did receive a four dollar extra box for the degree um when he was printing my receipt this is like the last strand of the receipt so he has to switch with a new receipt paper so the top one was cut off I told him as long as I have this barcode I'm okay and then I have the ten dollar extra bucks for buying $15 worth of Joa. So I got back 14. Okay, so here is the math. If you do count all extra bucks that you use, I paid 50 cents. I rolled $25 in extra bucks. So that is $25.05 out of pocket. I did got back $14 in extra bucks. So that cost me eleven oh five. I did submit this degree on my other Ibotta, my main Ibotta. Actually, I forgot that my main Ibotta, I mean, the, uh, Fetch Rewards, not Ibotta. My other Fetch Rewards doesn't have the same reward with this one. So I didn't get anything back. That was my bad. I should have submitted on that account too. But yeah, I didn't get anything back. It's too bad. So my final cost for everything for all four of these is eleven dollar and fifty cents or two seventy six cents. Two dollars and seventy six cents a piece. If I do count the fifteen dollar from the Uber, but since I'm still getting fifty dollar worth of item in this gift card, so I will treat that fifteen dollar as a free extra box. So making, if I don't count the fifteen dollar extra box that I rolled in here, all of this four item was actually free plus a three dollar and ninety five cents money maker. So I look at it that way 
because like what I said <clears throat> this is still $50 worth it's not $35 worth so yeah you guys um, that's all I got for you today it's a very easy quick video please double check the sunday haul video that i posted i got more deals over there these just what's worth doing for me um i'm waiting for my coupons to come in my email today and like what i mentioned on my sunday haul video if you were familiar with the percent coupon that we get through emails on thursday if you use those the following day you will get a flash coupon that for instance you will get a ten dollar off when you spend 70 or 20 dollar off 80 or worst case worst case scenario you get a 20 dollar off 100 which that's the one i got last sunday so yeah um so with that being said i will be wise using those percent coupon that will trigger a threshold coupon the next day so then i can maximize my savings because what i do in the past is i do redeem them on the same day which is friday so then i will have a coupon the coupon will arrive saturday on my account and then it's also good for a sunday so I did waste it actually for $10 off 70 last Sunday because I didn't do any transactions on those cards. So what I do now is I will redeem each percent coupon like every other day. So then I can spread out my coupons on the rest of the week if you get what I mean. So yeah, that's all you guys I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you find value in this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or what did you grab this week at CVS. And continue to support my channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!